silly. It happens about this time every week. A body screams out for rest. My brain says, Gino, hold on. One more hit yourself. One more work shift. You gotta hold on. Brain's right, Gino. It's only Monday. Hey, tell him, Linelli, wait up. Oh, hi, Mr. Tatum. How are you? Oh, hey. hi, Mr. Tatum. Hey, listen, uh, I haven't had a chance to chat with you guys since I was put in charge of this section. But you're a couple of bright guys. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have anything to worry about when the layoffs come. I'll catch you tomorrow. Pay them? Layoffs? What layoffs? Listen, uh, sales have uh, been pretty soft, you know, and, and you know what that means. Uh, I got some pretty tough decisions on uh, who stays and who goes. What do you got to worry about? Uh, you don't need this job. I hear you're professional musicians. There's a pay the bills. It's strictly for fun. Oh, yeah, just a hobby. Hitch assemblies are our life. Good. Nothing to worry about. You got me to look out for you. Uh, uh whoa, 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 one more thing. Uh, I'm planning to take the little woman out for dinner tonight, and I'm uh, a little short on cash. So, uh, maybe you could lend me, say, uh, 50 bucks for a while. Well, we're a little short ourselves. How long's a while? About a hundred years. There's a word for that. Bribery. No, no, no. Why don't you put it down to job security, you know? The offer will still be open tomorrow. My wife will be even hungrier. I knew they were you the minute we got them in. Yet another pair of shoes, Louise. Oh, Frankie, the right shoes make a woman feel happy. Important, right? <laughs> Complete. Oh, I can relate to that. It's the same feeling I used to get from a well-balanced nightstick. <laughs> <laughs> Problems. Oh, Frank, life. It doesn't get any worse than this. Sure it does. Give it a couple of years. Hey, babe. Maybe sooner. Thought we'd catch you here. Phil and Gino called our rehearsal tonight. Yeah, some problem at work. Said they'd tell us about it later. <laughs> yeah, well, I sure know work problems. Uh-oh. Depression session. My boss is going on a buying trip, so I'm in charge of the store for the next two weeks. Hey, you should be proud he picked you. Yeah. <laughs> Just because of seniority, everyone else has been there two months, I've been there four months. Just my luck, huh? You know, the last thing I wanted to do was get more involved in family footwear. Relax, Martha. The effective principles of good management come down to one specific dictate. You hire the best people you can and you work them till they drop. I don't think I'll make a very good shoe store manager. Well, read this book. Oh, here it is. Winning at all costs. You jump right to the chapter on intimidation. Marty, babe, fly away with me. I'll take you to an island where they never even heard of shoes. No. Now, there is a word that we tend to abuse. Intimidation. Don't you think? You know, why is this hearty guy frozen dinner still frozen? Guess the stove's acting up again. Now what are we gonna do about Tatum, huh? As much as I hate to pay, looks like we're gonna have to put it down for insurance. No way, Philly. Won't you give in to those guys? It never stops. I mean, if we pay that creep off, then we're the jerks. Yeah, well, I'd rather be a jerk with a job. We're gonna take this all the way to the top. Let's go see Bailey. Gino, you don't start with the plant manager. Remember when you went to the principal's office and told on all those football players who took your lunch money? Hey, I felt good about that, all right? I stood up for my rights. My hair grew back in no time. <laughs> all right. Do what you want. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really? He's up there. He's got my soup. <laughs> Tatum can't hassle my people. Who does he think he is anyway? Your boss. Well, technically, maybe. 
but I've been with this company long enough to pull a little weight of my own. And I intend to start throwing it around. Well, torpedo Man is on the case. Yeah, and he's mad, too. He's got that little twitch near his eye, like when our 10-minute coffee break turns into a half hour. <laughs> so you just lay off from now on, and I'll forget this ever happened. It's real generous of you, Torpedo. By the way, uh, how you been feeling lately? You look a little tired. Have you ever considered early retirement? Uh-oh. What do you mean? Hey. I'm only looking out for you, Torpedo. Maybe I should have a talk with the guys upstairs about your early retirement. Well, torpedo's twitch. It's slowing down. Stopped. Your pension won't suffer too much. Think about it. Hey, guys. My wife's starving. She wants to go out Friday and Saturday night. Now, that'll uh, come to a hundred bucks, including the tip. Hope you can help me out. Okay, fellas, back to work. Great job, Torpedo. Your profile and courage. Hey, hey, he did his best. Don't worry, Torpedo, we understand. Do you understand hitch assemblies? Because that's what I want to see. Lots of them. And now. That's it. We're going to see the guy in the tie. Bailey? Yeah. Look, Billy, he may be our plant manager, but he puts pants on just like you and me, one leg at a time. So that's how it's done. This is not funny. Listen, I'm a Manelli, and the Manellis are fighters. All right. Are my standards too high, or was this really a flush rehearsal? You know, there's a life outside of this place, Weiner, and it has its problems. And we've all agreed to leave those at the door so that we can have more productive rehearsals. Two days running a shoe store, and you're Miss Efficiency Expert. Look, look, Gino and I are a little distracted. We got a meeting with Mr. Big tomorrow. Hey, don't forget eye contact. It's very important when being forceful. Marty. Only a couple days ago, you were scared stiff about this job. What happened? It serves a need in my life I never knew I had. All this time, I was starving for authority. Marty, it's a Sheila for you. Oh. Miss Spino here. Oh, Sheila, I'm sorry. But Shoe Village has its priorities. I mean, if I bend on this one, then everyone will want a day off just because they break their leg. <laughs> oh. You know, I can't remember the last time I've seen you wear a tie. I want to deal from strength. Right, Paisley print. Very intimidating. <laughs> Billy, remember, he may be our plant manager, but he's a guy just like us. He puts on one leg at a time. <laughs> Gentlemen, sorry to keep you waiting. Sit down, please. Have we met? We're nobody. We work here. Oh, I'll pay for this. It didn't break. If it does, I'll pay for it. Oh. Uh, uh, Gino, uh, listen, I'll handle this. You're dealing from too much strength. Mr. Bailey. Hi. Hi. Phil Taylor. Hi. Uh, this is Gino Minnelli. We're okay. with Hitch Assembly. Ah, good team there. Top notch. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, this really isn't very easy, but we think our supervisor's hitting us up for money. Tatum, that's a very serious charge. How do you back it up? He asks us for a hundred bucks. That's it? So we get it back sometime next century. Well, that is a little strange. I'll look into it. Thank you, sir. Very good. Sure. Thank you, sir. Sure. Yeah. Mr. Bailey, you have uh, outstanding eye contact. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. Bailey called me in today. Said you went to see him. So I guess you heard. The loan office is closed. Along with your mouth. Easy, Gino. Yeah, yeah, the loan's off. Good. Does your wife need to diet anyway? Uh -huh. 
Hope you didn't get in too much trouble there, Tatum. No trouble at all. Barely understood the whole thing, especially when I told him you guys were mad because I'm putting you on a night shift. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't say nothing about no night shift. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, maybe you didn't hear me because your ears are bad from that music you're playing. Or, or used to play. Because the only thing you're going to play on the new schedule is a radio. Be on the graveyard. Shades leash alone, they're working out pretty good. How you doing, Philly? Yeah, these are okay, too. I gotta give them back in a couple of days, though. Humans were not meant to work at night and sleep during the day. I think I'm growing fangs. Aren't you exaggerating just a little, Gino? Come on, now I want to get at least one good day's sleep. It's noon. Do you know where your children are? No. Will you just shut up? Huh, Gino? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good crowd. A terrific crowd. Never saw a better crowd. You two gonna be okay? Hey, I, I agree about that crowd. Super, super crowd. All right, I changed your booking to Saturday night to accommodate your new work schedule. Now, it would behoove you to start on time, like right now. Hey, guys! Don't sleep on my time. Sleep on your real job. Hey, I'm sorry. I've done all I can, but you guys aren't fit to play. This renders me sad, but I'm going to have to go with my backup group root canal. I'm sorry. Jumping narcolepsy, foiled by Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Billy. Uh, oh, hi, Frank. I want my pussycat eye shade back. <laughs> The reason why we got this job is so we could play with the band at night. No, we can't even do that. So? What can we do about it? We've got to get these people on our side, man. We've got to close this joint down if we have to. Oh, sure. Yeah, so we play in a rock band. Yeah, they're going to jump to do that. If you're going to make a change, you got to cause some trouble. What's the worst they could do to us? Put us in jail. Hey, stop me, Billy. Marty, 
What is this all about? That comes under new business. Any new business? Marty, what is this all about? Dreams is not producing to its full potential. Now, I believe we should discuss an upside strategy involving substitute members for Gino and Phil until they can be with us again full time. Wait, replace Gino and Phil? Temporarily. It's a viable alternative worth discussing. I move the meeting be adjourned. Seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. The motion carries. Good, Good night, night, party. party. <laughs> I, <clears throat> my first board meeting and I lose a day on takeover. Later, babe. Now the meeting's adjourned. <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing's going on here. Nothing at all, just like it was planned. And exactly why is nothing going on here? Have you ever heard of a sympathy strike? They're not happy with the way you're treating me and Phil. I see. It's time the three of us pay a visit to Mr. Bailey. We'll have this settled in no time. And the rest of you get back to work while you still have work to get back to. Come on. Delighted. Well, it seems to me that there is no question about the work stoppage. You two were behind it. There is a reason for that, sir. I have to terminate your employment here. Frankly, I think you two are troublemakers. He's the troublemaker. There isn't one shred of evidence to back your charge. That is all, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Bailey. Mr. Bailey? Torpedo. I heard what happened outside. These guys originally work on my ship. May I have a word with you? The subject is closed. Then I want to talk to you about my early retirement. What are you talking about? I don't like the idea that Tatum is pushing my workers around, and when I talk to him about it, he wants to mention something about my early retirement. So I thought I'd come in here and get it over with. I never said that. We saw him. We saw him do that. That's right. And then he threatened me when I found out that he was hustling these guys for kickbacks. You're serious, aren't you? You know me. I'm the first to run for cover. I have a family to support. Would I risk everything if it were not true? Tatum, I want to talk to you about early retirement. Thanks, Torpedo. You really came through for us, man. Listen, I don't want to hear thanks. What I want to hear is truck music. Is that clear? Tomorrow, early. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye. Now stay tuned as Carl Malden, Paul Savino, Shirley Knight, and William Devane star in With Intent to Kill on the CBS Wednesday Night Movies. Next. Everybody in the world.